All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you something that's really, really cool. We're gonna be using this camera, the Tel Air from Avsbat. This is a 4K camera that can do a lot of good stuff. If you wanna check out my full review that I did, I'm gonna link it down below. But what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually create a multiple angle setup using only one camera. So let's not take much time, let's actually dive into it. By the way, if you're just meeting, my name is Sam, you're watching our production tips and tools. So right now I have the camera connected to the mobile app. The app is called Ausbad Start. It's available on both Android and iOS. What you need to do is you go to the app and you go to this second icon here. It's gonna give you what they call director's grid. This is where the magic is going to happen. So guys, what we need to do here is actually pretty simple. Now I have the camera connected to my ATM Mini using an hdmi cable you're gonna need something like this which is a micro hdmi to full size hdmi adapter if you want to use full size cables connects into the camera and then you can send the feed into the atom mini so many ways to connect it you can even connect it using ndi srt so many ways to do it and because the camera uses ai it's gonna suggest you multiple angles depending on where you're standing as you can see i have the one that's on air i have this wide angle angle so if i tap on it you can see that the camera is giving me something like a wide angle if i go to auto almost the same thing right p1 that's a different angle it's kind of zoomed in a little bit so everything's coming from the same camera and it's actually using ai to do this this becomes really really relevant if you're doing like a cooking show or a fitness show or if you have like multiple people in the frame or let's say if you like moving i'm gonna move a little bit So as you can see, the camera now is tracking me and it's going to give me more options, right? You can see that now I've got one angle where it's like upper body, right? And then I've got another angle where it's like my face. I think it would be easier if someone else is kind of controlling it for you because it would be weird to be having a mobile phone. This is like your face. You're talking to people. Hey, what's up? My name is Sam. And then I'll show like a wide angle P. So the thing with the P positions is like there's a motion. It's not a cat. So it's like it's going to zoom in or zoom out. However, if I go to the other angles right here from wide to face, you can see it's just a dry cat, which is awesome. So I can go to like wide medium and face like a super close up let me turn on my my room light this is not the ideal but you need to make sure your room light everything looks good right according to lighting conditions but i just want to give you an idea if you have like good lighting everywhere it could be like coming from here and then going to here and then going to here you can even like create some presets if you want position one and position two and position three could be customizable so let me show you how you could do that so now what we can do if you got a kit with the remote controller like say i want to show that big camera behind me right zoom on the big camera there maybe that's a shot again make sure you work on your lighting this is just a use case scenario i just want to show you now it's zoomed in i'm just gonna go ahead and hit p1 so now it should be saved on p1 if i go to the software now if i hit p1 on the remote you can see that's giving me that shot but p1 on the software it's something else you just put that shot on p2 on the software which is a little weird now p3 it changed to something like this so in my opinion you're gonna have to play with it either use just the software or use the software in combination with the remote but the key angles in my opinion is the wide one auto which is like a medium angle and then face which is like a super close up but that's it guys that's how you get multiple angles from one camera once you have everything set up in the software of course you need to go to obs or any streaming software for me i'm connected via my atm mini using the hdmi port but if you want it you can use the usb option just from the camera boom you go into your software and then you're able to connect to something like obs streamlabs or any other streaming software and that's it whatever you do in the app is 
is gonna show if you're recording same concept you could be just recording on an sd card because this camera supports it all the juicy stuff everything is there so guys i just finished watching all the angles i was able to show you and before i end this video i want you to listen to this this is very very important okay my goal is to inform you and to show you what's available but i'm also responsible in a way that i have to tell you the truth the good and the bad and the ugly right so if you need to zoom this camera is gonna use what's called digital zoom so digital zoom if you don't have enough resolution and enough lighting it's gonna start introducing a lot of noise and some of the footage i saw had a lot of noise and personally i wouldn't use those type of angles unless i have enough lighting covering my room like where i'm sitting right now i'm okay to actually show a super zoomed in angle of my face because in fact if i do this angle right here you can see that the camera is super super noisy so that's not usable however if i go to this angle right here this is a super zoomed in i can even zoom a little further and as you can see this angle it's actually not bad why because i've got a light source kind of hitting me so even though i'm using a little bit of digital zoom it's not affecting the way my face looks there's no there's a little bit of noise but it's kind of usable in my opinion so if you want to use this feature please please i don't want to misguide you okay make sure you have enough lighting covering all the areas where you're gonna be zooming for it to give you the most optimum results if you can get that please don't use this feature because it's gonna make you look a little amateur and your video is just not gonna be good and if you want to see how i actually built a multi-camera streaming setup using three cameras like this i'm gonna link the video here as well so make sure to check it out and i'll see you there guys take care